What's up, guys? It's Zed, and this is episode 14 of the FIFA 22 Creative Club Career Mode with Villa FC. In the last episode, last episode was really, really good. Like, we were able to score that amazing free kick, and we also won the Carabao Cup. And this episode, there's a chance to win the FA Cup because we're in the finals with Spurs. And, I mean, Spurs has been a problem sometimes. And I hope, like, this match coming up is not going to be another time where they're going to be a problem for us. But before we go into all of that, we're going to sim this match against Aston Villa. Zaid is already an 89 rating. And, uh, yeah, he's basically the best player in the team right now. He's priceless. And we're able to get the 2-0 win. Zaid scores and Greenwood scores as well. And then we have Jacob Kraus. This guy's overall is between 58 to 78. That means his overall is definitely 60-something. And his potential is mad. So is this a future um, DM or RM or CM? With... Wait, what? <laughs> is he a goalkeeper or something? Anyways, is this a future beast player in our team or not i'm just going to sign him and we'll find out later all right so that win against aston villa was able to secure our spot over wolves we are clear of them with just four points it's not really as high a margin as we would want and yeah manchester city is pretty much unreachable as well as liverpool right now so we're actually going to just settle for a third and we're going to be playing uefa champions league football in the next season now, this match against Sheffield Wednesday, I really do not want to lose it. But I'm going to sim it. So I just hope that this team actually does something good. And we actually draw, draw the match. We draw the fucking match. Okay, Devil scores and whoever the fuck that is scored for them. To be honest, I don't even get why Sheffield, why we'll be drawing a match against Sheffield Wednesday. Now, we have a match coming up against Wolves. And whoever wins this match is going to stay in third place. So I can't even try to lose this match. We have to, like we have to win it by force, if possible. All right. So Greenwood is going to be playing in place of Suho for this match, and Alderweireld is quite low on stamina. But I mean, I don't really think there is a better option other than Alderweireld right now for this match. I need to go all out, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys after this match. The cameras are fixed to one man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? And hello to you from Molyneux here in the English West Midlands. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers against the Blades. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's their top marksman, but he's also a great all-round player. He just has that ability to go past defenders with such ease. Hopefully we see that again today. And now they get the ball rolling. And Wolves being afforded too much space here. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Ryan Grafenberg. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. In position. Oh, a goal! Well, maybe we shouldn't be surprised. They were asking for trouble with their passive approach. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Grafenberg. Can he take advantage? Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that...
Rivera. Certainly options available as far as the blades are concerned. And turned onto the woodwork. Been up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put... Can he finish? And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Wolves failing to keep the ball. And threading it forward. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. More live football to come. A little note about our future game with us here on EA TV. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always oh, a great... Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then through on goal, he just goes for power. And, and he did well to cut it out. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time. All right, so we have won this match. I mean, there was no doubt that we we're going to win this match, really. I just didn't want to sim the match because, number one, I'm supposed to play against everyone in the top four and the big six. So... And I also didn't want to sim the match because there was every chance that they were going to beat us in the sim because they were at home and I just didn't want them to overtake us. So with that win, we're able to get five points clear of Wolves and six points, is that six? Seven points clear of Spurs. So there's no way that we are going to be dropping off out of the top four. So we have automatically qualified for the Champions League in the next season. And without much stress, next match is the one against Spurs. Are we going to be able to get a domestic double in this episode? That is the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup. The Premier League is definitely out of reach, so we can't even go for that. But if we do win these two trophies, that will be a really, really good boost to the morale of the team as a whole, to be honest. So this is going to be the last match of the episode. I will sim past the remaining matches of the season and then in the next episode we will go into the third season of this career mode a wonderful scene here at Wembley an ocean of fans descending upon the stadium for what promises to be an absolutely riveting FA Cup final we'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV at long last the wait is over a warm welcome to Wembley this is Derek Ray joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's the Blades up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. And now they get the ball rolling. And they need to get tighter here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Useful looking ball. Oh, yes! First to score in this final. And it could be highly significant. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And once he gets onto it, there's only going to be one outcome. It's a lovely goal. It's of judgment to end the attack. Has eyes for goal. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. He's driven in the corner. Well, he was being closely watched. Goal kick. Well, in the first 45, can they address what went wrong? Joe Roden. 
Lukas Leva. And he takes it away. How can he take them on and beat them? Oh, surely. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Al Rahab. Now with Rivera. Very creative from the blades. And grazing the woodwork that time. Well, it's almost the perfect strike, isn't it? Just get. It looks promising. And the pass could do damage. Well, here we can see it again, and the passing and movement is a joy to watch. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. Sessegnon. And there goes the final whistle. The All right, so this is the third piece of silverware we are winning with Zilla FC. That is the EFL Championship trophy, the... Carabao Cup and then the FA Cup. So we're going to be getting a chance at Liverpool with the Community Shield next season and this is just completely crazy that we have come this far in just two seasons. The right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. All right, so what's the honor where I realized I was lift, lifting this trophy, but I subbed him off. So it's going to be this Yuboe guy uh, lifting it. And there we go. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really I'm actually still waiting for FIFA to change the celebration cutscenes because, I mean, it's getting pretty old already. Although it's still, it's still really good to look at, to be honest. But, I mean, it would be nice to see something different. And who else would it have been besides Karim Zaid to get the winning goal in that match? No one else, really. I mean, Rivera did really well to score the opening two goals. Suho assisted one, Zaid assisted the other, and then Zaid got the last goal assisted by Rivera if I'm not wrong but it was a really good match they didn't have that many chances and we just like kept pressing the position was 50 50 I didn't show that but that's what it was but I mean we just were the better team all right so these are the last two matches of the season I'm just going to sim to the 22nd right after the Leeds game and we do win against Bournemouth and we should win against we draw against Leeds okay but that still leaves us at third position but the funny thing is that wolves actually dropped out of the top four and spurs actually took their place which is quite sad i wonder where arsenal and manu is okay they're nine and ten all right so for other competitions we were able to win the fa cup that, as you guys know and then we also won oh we didn't win the cup we won wait am i tripping or something we didn't win the carabao cup <laughs> that is so crazy because I legit thought that we won it. Who did we go out to? Oh, we went out in the first round against Bournemouth. No, the second round against Bournemouth. 
yeah, that was the first match that we played that we went out. That is so crazy because I actually thought that we won it for some reason. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, there's still an X here. Although the Premier League is more important than any other, any one of the cups for next year. And the Champions League final is still to be played. Atletico Madrid versus Paris Saint Germain. Are they finally going to be able to win the Champions League? Either of the two haven't won it. I mean, I'm not sure about um, Atletico Madrid in re but I know in recent times they haven't won it. And then for Paris Saint Germain, they haven't won it at all. So. This is going to be a big chance for one of them to win it. So I, I actually will be curious to see who will win this. All right, so FC Porto won the Conference League. Barcelona won the Europa League. This is really weird that they are in the Europa League, to be honest. But I mean, it's, it's not shocking, but it's weird. Then Atletico Madrid actually beat PSG. That is so sad because I'm actually a very, very big PSG, PSG supporter ever since Neymar went there. And well, they were able to win it. Oh, well. All right, so we are at the end of the season and we are currently going to be skipping or rather ending the season and skipping ahead into the next season and then I'll end the episode there. Okay, so we're just going to wait for this to load. I mean, I'm not even going to wait for it to load. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop comments on what you would like to see and what you liked about this video or previous videos or future videos. And then... I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.